Great, so we're with the Cybex Aton Q infant car seat. Uh, this seat can be used for a child from 4 to 35 pounds or up to 30 inches. And we're going to highlight some of the really awesome features. We're going to start with this canopy. Really nice hideaway canopy. Keeps a nice sleek shape uh, with the design of the seat. Pulls away, has UV protection up to 50. So it's really nice. Keeps that baby safe and protected from sun rays while you're out in the car. And then again, it's tied away so you can close it back up. Uh, these silver buttons over here are the Cybex Linear Side Impact Protection. They actually pull out and it's telescoping, so it has two different positions. You pull it out next to the vehicle door and it helps reduce the amount of crash forces that child feels in the event of a side impact crash. The side impact crashes not only are common, but they can be very severe. So this provides a lot of additional crash, crash protection for the child, whether you're installing it just as the carrier or you're using it as a carrier with the car seat base. Inside the seat, we have a no rethread harness with an adjustable headrest. There's eight harness posi positions that you can raise and lower. And when you raise and lower that headrest, it changes the harness height so that you can get the proper fit for the child in the seat. When kids use the seat rear facing, they want that harness to be at or below, coming from kind of back behind the shoulders. So you have that option to raise and lower that to those eight different positions. There's also an insert in here that sits behind the baby's back. And when you're positioning a smaller infant in the seat, you can actually roll up the bottom of the insert to make that child positioned a little bit higher in the seat and give them a little extra cushion. And then that will flatten out as the child grows and you raise the harness system up. Has a five point harness, has harness covers to keep the child comfortable. It's an easy one hand adjustment. So as you tighten and loosen, you push the button and pull out the straps to loosen the harness. And then you pull the adjustment to tighten the harness. So when you're positioning an infant in the seat, you'll place the infant in the seat. They're sitting on the infant insert, so they've got additional cushion behind their back. Again, you can raise and lower the headrest. All you do is pull this gray tab and you can raise and lower it as you need to fit that child's shoulders. The straps should be coming again from at or below the child's shoulders. So you can kind of feel with your finger, you want it to go behind that child. And then you buckle the chest foot and buckle the crotch buckle. If you pull up and out, you'll make sure you've got it nice and snug over baby's hips. And then you can just pull tight. When you check to make sure it's snug, you try to pinch at baby's shoulders. If you can pinch the webbing together between your fingers, it's too loose and you would just want to give it another tug. But as you can see, if I'm pinching up here and my fingers just slide off the webbing of the harness, then it's nice and snug. The chest clip gets positioned across baby's chest at basically armpit level. And you can see the straps come over baby's kind of hips and their upper thighs. So to install this without the base in your vehicle, there's a really great option. It's called a European belt route option and it really helps to improve the install in the vehicle. It's very simple. You can see the belt guides have this blue color and the third belt guide is back here with blue. So when you see the blue, you know that that's an area where your seatbelt is going to go. You can take your left shoulder seatbelt, thread the left belt only, through the blue belt guides going across where baby would be seated. And then you take your shoulder belt and pull it all the way back behind the carrier. And it threads into this belt guide behind the seat. Then you take all of your seat belts and push. You still wanna make it nice and snug so you can push in the seat. And then you take all your excess and gather the excess back up. To check to make sure it's nice and tight, you grab it where you have it installed. This is the belt pack. And then you just try to give it a shape. You don't want it to move more than one inch from side to side or front to back, right there where it's installed. You always want the handle to be up with this seat when it's being used in the vehicle. So you can see our handle is up. 
and then you've got the linear side impact protection that pulls out next to the vehicle door. In this case, our vehicle door would be on the far side of the vehicle over here. So you would come to this side of the vehicle and pull out the LSP towards the vehicle door. 